it was so early at the time in post-production and CG that places were desperate to find people that actually knew how to do it. So I was lucky enough to, through connections, get my foot in the door and actually talk to people about, look, we can see that you have an eye, we can see that you're creative, so let's give this guy a chance. Which the first gig was like, somebody threw volumes of books at me, like stack like this <laughs> tall, and it's like, here, go learn. And within like a week, I was working on commercials. Um, and then I just kept going forever, because back then, it wasn't taught in college. It was too early. What was early CGI like? Like, I'm imagining, you know, is it kind of like when Tim Burton used to like bring like the claymations to life? Or is it more like video game engineering where everything's like 3D already on a screen? Like how? Well, it was all 3D. So like the Ray Harryhausen stuff I was bringing up earlier and the stop motion from, you know, 50s, 60s through 80s. Uh, your Jason the Argonauts, your Sinbad, Gumby, all those, all those, <laughs> exactly. That, that was the stop motion. That was the, you know, by hand, slowly moving each character meticulously for hours. Whereas by the time I got into post-production, that's all computer generated. So it was still fair, fairly early on, but sure, you could look at actual animation, 2D animation, stop motion for reference or for inspiration. But this was completely separated from that. 